so similar to what we just did with acquire visitor we also need to be able to say uh, release the visitor right uh, release visitor and say that specific visitor now we want to release and make it av uh, available again so we don't want to destroy it so we'll constantly keep it in the pool right we will not remove it from the pool of visitors uh, but we need to locate it and mark and simply mark it as being available uh, not in use anymore right so um, all right so we need to say visitor or reusable visitor like this right A reusable vi visitor like this and we need to actually ask our collection ask our collection reusables right reusables uh, we can say um, um, we basically say um, we need to decide which which method uh, to uh, to use to uh, to obtain the uh, the actual instance so uh, so we're just gonna try get is there a get method that would allow me to uh, um, get says index uh, so apparently we need to um, first uh, say whether it's containing the object or or we can say uh, index of right so we can try using index of so index of returns the index of the first occurrence of the specified element in the list or minus one if list does not contain the element so that would be very nice uh, we can we can do that right so we can basically say a reusables you can say basically integer index uh, equals reusables reusables uh, uh, get index of uh, this uh, subject that we just received from the caller and we can say again if uh, uh, if uh, index uh, equals minus one right uh, we just simply return right we just uh, return uh, we can say uh, uh, nothing to do uh, this uh, this uh, subject uh, is not in the pool, right? So uh, again, uh, in a better design system, you may want to throw an exception <laughs> to say, "Well, look, uh, it's uh, it's it's not uh, that simple." Uh, you just gave me the visitor which is not for some reason not in the pool which essentially violates violates the entire principle of the pool uh, basically the agreement apparently is uh, such that you know, every visitor has to be part of the pool otherwise the idea of having this reusable pool essentially is uh, is entirely broken so uh, again if someone hasn't follow followed the uh, criteria of uh, uh, you know reusable visitor uh, uh, and being part of the pool, um, most definitely we want to throw an exception and make sure that we notify the caller. At this point, for the sake of demonstration, I just simply say return and completely ignore it, which in the real uh, scenario you probably don't want to ignore. All right? So otherwise, we just say reusables get, right? Uh, and we want to get this index, right? And then we want to say, I'm basically going to say visitor, uh, visitor, um, um, uh, uh, set in use, right? Uh, set in use, and we want to make it false, right? We just want to uh, make this visitor uh, available, uh, and uh, then we return, right? So that's the whole goal: is to uh, is to to set it uh, set it. Uh, in use false and make sure that we mark that visitor to be in use um, the only thing I would like to note here is that uh, because the reuse the uh, internal reusables collection uh, here can again be used by multiple threads we cannot just say index of or you know get this index because everything may change as other threads update and manipulate this collection 
So release visitor definitely needs a critical section to be safe to use, right? So again, uh, just just make sure that we enter critical section, and any time we, uh, you know, any time we return from this method, we have to remember to uh, to uh, to just basically release critical section uh, b before we get out of here. Okay, so it's just very simple idea, but it's very easy to forget, and that would be essentially breaking the whole idea of uh, protective. Uh, shared access to all the resources I inside this uh, reusable pool. Just make sure that uh, you realize that uh, it's very easy to obtain the lock, right? But since uh, so, the constructor basically obtains the mutex and protects the uh, the critical section here. But as we return, uh, we basically uh, have no uh, control over uh, you know the way the object, the lock object will go away. So therefore, before we return, we have to say release this critical section. So that's just something that we we absolutely have to be aware of. Right, so that's that's very important. Rather than that, the methods are relatively simple, right? So this is all it takes us to release the user, uh, the visitor. We, we don't want to destroy it. Rather, all we want to do is just basically say, hey, uh, let's uh, let's uh, you know let's uh, recycle it. So um, uh, it's now time to put this to test and see what we can do in our main method, just to be sure that uh, everything we've implemented so far uh, does what it's supposed to do. Right. So let's put this to test. Let's let's make sure that in our main method we actually do a little bit of testing and see what's what's going on. 